All right, hello everyone. Today on the table we have the MS460, one of the best saws that Steel's ever made. <clears throat> but today we have a problem with locked up. That's as far as this thing pulls. Right there. I'm gonna break your hand off trying to pull this thing off. Pretty tight. Uh, a lot of people will just think that this is seized up, it's done, it's over. Let's throw it in the trash, trade it in, go ahead and buy the parts to rebuild it. But it could be something different. We could be looking at something that doesn't have anything to do with the engine at all. And uh, this could be a simple fix. So, And this could be something that you could do yourself. <clears throat> so we're going to go look at some things. First of all, uh, first I take off the air filter and pull the spark plug. Spark plug looks good. Not too bad. It's got oil on it. That's a good thing. So I don't think this thing seized up through the engine, but you look through the spark plug hole. And I don't know if I can get this close enough, but look through this and uh, just check for any kind of metal pieces that's on top of the piston. If you see any kind of metal chunks, you're probably in trouble. But um, <clears throat> if you don't see anything, everything looks clean. You might be ready to go. Um, also look at your gas make sure that somehow that you didn't put straight gasoline uh, it is a common problem uh, people just get in a hurry fill up the tanks and start going and they put regular gas in and you're done for the day <clears throat> so with the piston and cylinder looking good uh, you can take off the muffler and look at that I'm gonna do another video uh, on the difference between a good piston and a bad piston and you should be able to look through the muffler and and tell what you have but with a seized up engine a lot of times um, <clears throat> the piston will be at the bottom and and you can't see the piston or the rings uh, you may not get a good look at it and there could be some um, um, hiding scoring on the side that you can't see so with this not working like this I don't think um, that is a seized engine. I think it's something right here. We have components. So we're going to take this off and look at this. Um, <clears throat> while I'm taking this off, uh, go over some of the stuff that it could be. It could be uh, the flywheel. Uh, it could be the recoil uh, magneto. Uh, it could be um, something got stuck on the other side, the clutch side as well. Uh, <clears throat> but we're just going to take this, this off and figure this out because... Um, Something about this this particular chainsaw is <clears throat> the piston and cylinder was actually already rebuilt this year. Uh, it's it's fairly new, uh, <clears throat> and the guy that brought this in said that he was cutting wood, turned it off, so it it didn't shut off on its own. Turned it off, then he couldn't restart it because it was locked up. So with that. Um, I just think that it's, it's something to do with this this flywheel. And what we're going to do is kind of check it out. And I don't like the fact that it's been damaged there as well. Um, but <clears throat> let's pull this guy off here. All right. So in here, we have the flywheel. And let's see if we can <sighs> turn it there. See if we can hear some compression. Yeah, we got some compression, so it's probably still good, but which means that it's this guy here. That's the problem. You can see how dirty it is. It's, it's probably, but we were able to turn and all the teeth are good on the flywheel. All the, all the blade fans are good. Uh, it works frontwards and backwards. So we know now that it's not the piston. We're in good shape. Um, you're, 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 you, if you're at home, you know that your engine is not seized up and you didn't do something wrong here and right here we see that the uh, magneto as it's dirty it's still in good shape we're not hitting a lot of times what will happen is this thing when it's vibrating i mean it's going up and down uh, and idle especially if you have it on the ground and sometimes these bolts loosen up and this will fall down and then when your flywheel is hitting it um 
Uh, maybe you could seize it up. There's there's debris that can get behind the flywheel. And some of the, the MS-170s, models like that, um, they have more room to get underneath the flywheel. But this flywheel <clears throat> doesn't got a lot of room to get stuff behind there. But there are screws. Well, this one's missing one, I think. Or maybe. There are screws that are behind here, just like this. And they can... Uh, uh, vibrate and, and work themselves out and actually rub against the flywheel and you could have a problem where the flywheel finally the bolt finally catches the flywheel the backside and it stops so but that's really good news what we're looking at a flywheel that's moving and i hear compression coming out that's always good so <clears throat> that means that the problem is here and as you can see we've got some damage here this is faded, which doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't affect the... But you can see that there's been some problems where maybe... Let's see. Let's see if we can... Let's see if it's binding up. Yeah, it's, it's got some binding. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this bolt, throw in some WD-40 in there. But the good thing is, is that we see that the... What they call these PAWLs, P-A-W-L. And if you have some of these missing, um, you can actually order some. I don't like how... Yeah, actually, I don't really like how that's, and that may be actually the problem right there is that, yeah, that paw is not supposed to be coming out that easy. So that might be the problem right there. That, see that? That's not good. That's, um, but that that could be the problem. We could have a, a the paw is not setting in there. It could be broken. And I'm going to, you know, probably take this screw out and, and throw in some WD-40 behind there. But and they're numbered 3 and 7. Uh-huh. We've got probably that. But there was some binding as well. Uh, so I'm going to throw some WD-40 in here and get this thing working. And um, I, could, I could take this thing apart and, and probably clean it and fix it. But for me... Uh, I'm probably just going to order a new one because this kind of damage right here when you when you're cutting things happen to come up and and the craziest things happen when you're cutting and, and pieces splint wood splints and and uh, sticks and once this goes in this hole then you're going to be touching these flywheel um, teeth here and that's that's bad because once you get a stick in there your your toast for your flywheel you're going to have uh, pieces breaking off and this is plastic this is not the metal one um, that's that's unfortunate but <clears throat> and then once you buy a new one you'll also get a uh, electro start um, pull uh, that would be much better as you can see this has no innards in it it's supposed to have a rubber piece and 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 that but um, so and then you'll have a new badge as well It'll come with a new steel badge if you buy the OEM original equipment manufacturer part um, so it would just make much more sense to buy a new one uh, but you can always rebuild these take these apart and like I said that I'm not really liking how that paw fits in there and I'm gonna spray it down with WD-40 and see if we can get it going but um, <clears throat> and if this doesn't fix it I'll do another video but uh, this is this is the problem here on this particular one so uh, don't um, don't get carried away and think that your uh, steel is is toast because you can't pull it. Uh, this guy actually thought this was fried because uh, the piston, the cylinder, had been replaced by cheap Chinese pieces. But as we can see, um, it is not. So there was no reason to throw it away or trade it in the steel or whatever else. Um, and, and th this saw has got some some fading and stuff, but it's still in really good condition. So we're going to try to fix this up and have this ready to go. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos on clutches and scoring pistons and all kinds of things. But uh, definitely going to get this back running. And I'll do another video with this running and cutting into wood. Uh, so uh, that's all. Um, thank you for watching the video.